Hi there guys, my name is Samuel and today we shall be taking a look at the 70676 Lloyd's Titanium Mech which does contain 876 pieces, costs 65 pounds, 80 dollars and 70 euros at full retail value guys but you've been able to get it in the 40 pounds range it's again Ninjago and like most seems you can get it on really heavy discount which is quite a positive thing, it does have 6 minifigures here as I've said, I think I said that and there you can see it does have the scroll and this is actually to actually come with Lloyd, not including the Forbidden Lloyd or the Half Mask. To get the whole suited version, you have to get this set, which is obviously annoying for people who don't want to get this set. But it is a really awesome set. Here we have Lloyd and Zane. Here you can see them, which I do think these are really good minifigures. Zane is my favourite ninja, so I really like this one. And yeah, I think this is one of my favourite Lloyds. Like, honestly, I think it's cool the fact he doesn't have gloves and that he's got, like, the brown on him. It's completely different than what they've done before. And yeah, here's Zane's face, which... I'm not a fan of it, being completely honest. I just don't see Zane. He's not angry. Like, that would have worked well as, like, a double-sided print for the Emperor when he's looking angry. But apart from that, it doesn't really make sense. So, yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of that. But then here you can see Lloyd on the left, which that is honestly such a great minifigure. And again, there you can see Zane, which, yeah, I think these are really good minifigures. And there you can see the back. It's so weird, the effect... If you want to get the main Zane, he's also only in one set, which can be annoying. There you can see the head plug. I really, really hope we get a uh, new head, and I think we're getting the hair piece. Because we're getting ha hair combos, you can't do it with Zane. Zane's got such a flat hair piece, and it would literally be impossible, wouldn't it, to... Uh, make it with a headband so what i think is i reckon that they're gonna have it on his forehead like some other characters i can't really remember who i'm thinking of but i know some other figures have done it so i'm really hoping for it but yeah there you can see these minifigures which i really like these and then here again we have vex which i really like this minifigure there you can see the translucent parts and his moustache and then here you can see he doesn't have another face sorry i thought we had another face anyway no he doesn't there you can see the crystal the crystals on his chest there which i think that is a really cool print the translucent arm which i think these are meant to be the same color as the leg the um the dark gray or the gummital gray so it's kind of annoying it's not accurate but that is fine there because see the back printing but yeah that is vex then from left to right we have the blizzard warrior this which is the samurai then we have the uh, blizzard sword master and then the blizzard archer as you can see these are all from other sets so there's nothing to do really point on here but um hey you can see their printing here which i think these are really cool minifigures i do like the printing on all three of them there you can see him which i actually haven't shown this one because he um, comes in the Lloyd's journey and I still got to review that. But yeah, there you can see the minifigures, which are really cool. And if I turn them around, you can see their back printing. Which, as you can see, looks really good. You can see all the, their printing. They use the same body, so it's nothing special there. But then the Swordmaster in the middle does get an exclusive print. And he also has an exclusive face. One with the shadowed eye and one with the two eyes. So that is pretty cool. And again, that is the Moro's cape. And he does have a uh, pony towel, I believe, at the back of his head. Which is another cool detail. And then, of course, we do have Zane with his uh, forbidden spinjitsu little pod. Which I think is pretty cool. And the idea is that you can do these, but... One day, I tell you, I will get this right, but so far in the three sets I've reviewed, I have not got this anywhere so far. Nope, so I'm not even going to bother. But yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. I like the fact that this is the version of Zane, because this is a very pivotal um, look for him. Definitely, well, not really that. He should have his shoulder pads, but like this, because he's wandering through, and yeah, and then everything happened. But yeah, there's Zane, which I think is a it's a pretty cool piece, and it's my favourite ninja, so it is my favourite one of these. So starting off at the bottom with its feet, yeah, you can see it is on lots of joints. You can see they are sort of positioned like that, and there is also a stick on both of these which i think is a pretty cool idea that they're giving a sticker because then hey at least it adds some more detail but there you can see the sticker and if i zoom into that there you can see that it is in the pool gold color i believe this is the newer gold color as you can see that's an issue that i've had these joints have been getting a little bit I don't know what to call it, I guess, mm, worn out, yeah, I guess, but then again, I've, I don't really, I don't play with it, I just play it, so I'm not exactly sure why, but it seems like it is, but it, you know, that it happens with mechs, so that is, I don't really mind at all about that, but then here you can see the feet, which I do think, um, they're quite big, 
but they're still pretty cool. I, oh, wow. I just thought that'd be really cool to get as an inverted tile in a circular piece. We've never had that before, but it would be really nice. So, yeah, there you can see the feet, which I think are pretty cool. And then we have got the second part, which it has knees, but the knees you can't move. You can, like, move potentially, like, the front of them to see the technic elements, but you can't actually move the legs properly, which is a tad annoying, I would say. And then there you can see that. But then again, guys, I do, I'm a collector. I display, so I'm not really worried about the play. Then here you can see the back of the legs, which they have smoothed that out, which is pretty good. And you can see, also see the wings coming in there. But yeah, that is the back of the uh, the mech's legs. And now if we move up, you can see the sand green, which I think that is a really cool idea. What they've done there with kind of, I don't know, just a shaping. Everything to me on this area, especially this, I like the fact that they've kind of, managed to fill in the hole because years ago i don't think they would have ever done that just filling in these little gaps which aren't particularly that uh, much of an eyesore they're a bit you know a bit annoying but they're not i think too important and sorry i forgot that it should have been in lloyd's um shoulder pauldron but you know i i just don't ever keep these in there i only ever get them out or look for a copy of the saws for the review but yeah there you can see the legs which i think are pretty cool you can see it from the side and then here you can see the tires as well sorry the wheels not the tires and some more joints and you've got the um tiled angled clip but yeah there you can see the back of his legs it's legs sorry which yeah i think that is done pretty well there you can see the sand um green nexo night shields which i do like the look of and then if we move this around you can then see the front here which that looks pretty awesome and then moving up you can see this area which i think that is pretty cool and quickly i want to show these side little vent areas i'm not exactly sure what they are but still it looks pretty cool and then you've got these white elements which look pretty cool and i always wonder why the joints are always re reversed i know that's the way they're built but i always wonder why don't they just remold them in the opposite color but maybe that would get too confusing but yeah then here well unless they did it separate bags but then again it wouldn't work for smaller mechs but then anyway you can see the top up here which i really really like the detailing of as you can see the way they've done it they've angled these elements here and then had all of that folding in that kind of just goes there which is really cool and again the shape in here is actually just pretty much perfect being honest here it looks really really good and then here you can see the samurai's like head it's more well, the titan mech sorry if i said if i say titanium i i say that nearly every time there you can see the flower part the two um handles which yeah i really like the use of that piece i think it is done really well and then here you can and see its shoulder pads which i think that is a really cool build i do like the fact it's got some like different layers it would have been good if that was filled in with some white pieces but i understand it's to make it easier for younger um, fans and um, builders to build it and there you can see these stickers which that is a pretty awesome thing and there you can see the way it's angled which is great like i said but it can be annoying because it can move quite a lot and it's yeah definitely a nice also don't look underneath there but there you can see it's right arm here, which I think that is pretty cool, the way they've tiled it off there. Then here you can see the front and then the other side here. And then it has this um, the hand, which can do a 360 spin, which that is cool, because then at least... Which, well, there you go. There's the um, evidence of it literally just not being able to stand up when I'm trying to move this. So yeah, you can do a 360 which I think that is pretty cool. And you can see the hand was nearly popping off there. It has the shuriken, which I completely forgot. Sorry, but there is like a um, switch that you can just spin that and it will spin round. And it's well, it's not um, a danger at all. And then here we have the fingers, which you can put the sword in this hand. I've literally just spent like, a, it must have been two or three minutes trying to reset it. Honestly, I couldn't get it back to this position. But thankfully, I managed to sort that. But then if we lift this up, you can see the cockpit area, which is quite simple. It just has a couple of controls for Lloyd. Or Zane as really this should be Zane's tight mech. In fact, sorry, it really well no, it really should be Nia's because she made it. But then again, the main use of this was really from Zane. And here you can see Lloyd sitting in there, which I think that is a pretty um awesome look. And then the final thing that I did want to show is here's the sword. You can see that it's nothing really special. You just um pop it in there. It's basically the same build. In most of them, they generally have this element, this element, and this element. It has been in a ton of Ninjago swords, but I have nothing wrong with that. I think it's a really good build. Like honestly, it's one of those things. If he's not broke, you don't need to fix it, and they don't. So yeah, it's really awesome. Turning this model around here you can see on the back there is like this 
I, I don't even know what I want to call it, a jetpack kind of thing. And it's literally held on my two Technic pins. So you simply pop it out. And the way it's built is, it's actually a really good way of building it. It's not just the pins, it's the one with the axles as well. See, it's a really strong build. It's, it can come out, but it's not an easy thing to come out. So that is really cool. And here you can see what it looks like. And um, yeah, I've actually never done this before. I've never actually taken it off and put it flat on a surface. But seriously, what is this? That just looks really funny. I like it. it, it it's one of those things that makes no... I don't understand what they're trying to go for, but it looks great. So what I presume is they're meant to go that way. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I think that makes more sense, I hope. And the only reason you can sort of like sit Lloyd here or Zane or whoever and make him fly around. So here you can see this massive sticker, which looks pretty cool. I believe that's an eight, uh, eight long element, the eight, eight long, uh, eight studs long sticker, sorry. And there you can see the engines, which look really cool on the ball joint. And yeah, you can see the wings, which are pretty massive, I have to admit. It sort of reminds me of um, Falcon's translucent red wings. I remember when those come out. Wow. That is a bit of nostalgia right there. But then here you can see the back side of these wings again, which I think that looks pretty cool. And yeah, there's spring-loaded shooters. And there is also those um, Technic pins. And then again, there's this other wing, which, yeah, I think these are really cool. You can see all the tubes and everything. And there's also this one at the back, which I think that is pretty cool. And what you can do if we remove Lloyd, you can sort of see there's also that. So sorry, maybe that wasn't meant to be up. But yeah, there you can see that, which I think it does work pretty well like that. So yeah, I think it is a really, it's a nice little build. I just don't understand what it is. But hey, um, I just keep it attached to the actual set. So there it is. Let, no, oh, wow. Well, yeah, there you can see that is the um, feature I keep nearly setting off. So now let's put all this back. Let's put it back on the mech and go to my um, faults, overall faults of the set. So there we have it, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. And overall, this is my favourite Ninjago mech. This is just such a good build. I like the uniqueness of it. Just all the way, all the parts just absolutely tie into each other so well. There you can see, like, that just looks cool. Just, like, everything that, that they've done here looks so cool. The figures are great. The build is great. You get Lloyd. Where did I put him? Sorry. We've got Lloyd here. Everything is great about this set. It's such a good build. Like, and Ninjago have always had great mechs. We've got the Fire and Stone mech again, and I'm looking at it now. It is an absolutely amazing set. There you can see it there. It's a really great build. It's, again, a great mech. But what makes this, I think, the best one of all, it's just the detail. It's so unique with, like, all of the elements and the shaping. I just think it's really well done. So thank you guys for watching the video. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think it's a good set? Anything you'd change, personally? I think it's a, it's really, it's a really good set. So thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you in tomorrow's video, guys. I'll see you there. Bye for now.